Well, Joe Amalfitano served as the Dodgers third base coach for 16 seasons from 1983 to 1998, including that World Series winning team in 1988. Our Jim Hill sat down with him for a look back at his decades in baseball, including his time with the boys in blue. Boys in Blue, sponsored by Caposio Buick GMC. 67 years in baseball. That's that's more than most people live. Well, thank you very much. I've been blessed. Yeah, I uh, I uh, enjoyed myself. I have a great passion for the game. And I have to say that uh, my major league time was best spent with the Dodgers. It was a, a family atmosphere that was created by ownership and Tommy, it was just a wonderful time in my life. What was the relationship like between you and Tommy? We had a solid relationship because like I used to tell him, Jim, I didn't want his job and he had my job and he didn't want to do that anymore. And he's much better at managing than coaching third base. Not that he couldn't coach third base, but that's a relationship that we had. And uh, between him and Mr. Campanis, who brought me over there, uh, it was a great, great time in my baseball life. So many enjoyable days, you know, and we won a lot of games. Uh, we won the big one in 88, which was uh, memorable. My most exciting time, I guess, in my baseball life as a non-player, but in uniform, was the night that uh, Gibson took Eckersley out of the ballpark. The interesting thing about our whole thing, Jim, is Tommy decided it was a great decision. If we went over to the Oakland club, pluses and minus every player, the last thing that was said in that meeting, he asked one of the advanced scouts, uh, Mel Didier, it was, and you have anything to add to this? And he said, if the game is on the line and Eckersley's in the game and you're a left-handed hitter, and he has three and two on you, he's going to throw you a backdoor slider. Well, uh, that was the script. Was it written in Hollywood? I have no idea, but that was said. And I have the report downstairs that backs that up because there were some people that questioned that and said it was bogus. No, it was true. And as he came around the bases, I had to make a big decision. <laughs> <laughs> and there's no decision on a home run. Just make sure that you pat him on the back, which was my style. Uh, I was going to go to home plate, but everybody, Tommy leading the pack, went to home plate. It was, even some vendors, I'm exaggerating that part, came out of the stand. <laughs> so I decided it got halfway. I said, oh, no, I'm going to go back down to third. This one's going down in history. You have been called the best third base coach ever. Well, That's quite a compliment. Well, I, I appreciate that. That's 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 very nice. I uh, I took a lot of pride in it. I had a lot of fun with it, and uh, I missed that action. I, I'm at my age now, I wouldn't ever be able to do it. But I missed the action. It was a lot of fun. Uh, you know, a third base coach. He's not in the box score, whether you got a hit or whatever. Sometimes you can you're going to be a part of it, and I, I believe I was. 